Uh, hi everyone, um, I'm Andrew, I'm 26 this year. Outside the ring, I'm the Operations Director of Singapore Pro Wrestling. The one of the co-founder of Singapore Pro Wrestling. I'm the, I'm the guy who brought the sport here in Singapore. Inside the ring, I'm known as the Statement, um, the current reigning and defending AWGC Junior Heavyweight Champion and one half of the SPW Tag Team Champion and the first ever pro wrestler of Singapore and I take pride in pissing people off inside the ring whenever I perform and whenever I can I just humiliate and obliterate my opponents inside the ring. Don't wait the move. Move for the pin! Oh. oh, he keeps going for it one after one! Um, I'm, my name is Muhammad Sodik. Um, I'm 24 this year. I work in uh, as a full-time uh, warehouse logistics and for SPW Singapore Pro Wrestling, I'm doing a uh, referee role today. So, so. Fana missing her punches, catches her, and then Lexi Lee, oh my gosh, just landed her with that Harukarana, taking it out of her drop kick right to the midsection. So, uh, my name is Lee Sing Yee, I go by Alexis Lee in the ring. I'm currently a year 3 student in Republic Body, doing a diploma in Restaurant and Culinary Operations, and this year I'm 20. And, oh my gosh, this is it, this is it! He's flying bulldog, driving his hip, driving Matello face first into the mat. Ever since young, uh, I wanted to be a pro wrestler. Uh, when I first watched you know, the WWE, I was mesmerized by these larger than life characters and I, I told to myself that you know one day I want to be like them, I want to be something different. I, I want to you know, get the energy from the crowd, you know, I just want to wrestle night in and night out and get the, the same kind of reaction that they do and you know, you know with the the power of their hands and they control the emotions of the crowd, you know, can make them be happy, can make them feel angry, can make them feel sad. You know, basically, you know, I'm just a storyteller inside the ring. You know. It doesn't matter about winning or losing. You know, the most important thing is to you know, leave the fans happy each and every night. That is the most important thing. Uh, so as time passes by, uh Region Dragon, Kenneth etc. asked me if I would like to try referee. Because I've learned all the bombs, I know the moves. I know what to look out for actually in the wrestling industry. My mom supports me. My dad wants me to come at UFC, I don't know why. She prefers me to be more in, in the fighter kind of league, but for me, I'm more entertaining kind of what. It's unique, so yeah. I'm glad for you to have my girlfriend and accepted it too. So, so if people were to say to me that, yeah, why referee? You are just a clown in the I've been, I have people call me, uh, say you're making a fool of yourself. And I say, it's not making a fool of myself. I enjoy doing this. It's fun, it's unique. Yeah, people make fun of me. But in the end, it's like, you do it, it's not because of money or whatever. You do it because it's entertainment. You just want to do it for entertainment. You want to make people laugh, you want to make people angry, sad, cheer you on, boo you on. <laughs> Every single thing, everything of your life, yeah. So, try. You can just come down to the training and I would love to give them a try out. I will give them one match, see whether they can come down. And whether they can get, get up and down, get up and down for a couple of times is very tiring actually. I actually started training in about three years ago in January when I first met up with Andrew and the rest of the guys. They were actually very like uh, welcoming to having a female member to finally join them. And so far wrestling with them it's rather competitive. I've always been like a tomboy since young <laughs> so doing things that aren't really girlish is kind of like what I've always been doing so when I first got into pro wrestling it just felt like it was something I wanted to continue doing after the first training taboo wise I think it's kind of Asia wide that women should not be doing something so physical like touching the other uh, gender and stuff but so far, I think in Singapore and like towards other parts of Asia, we're actually getting more open towards women joining such sports. Uh, when I was doing my 8 to 5 job, uh, 8 to 5 job was really tough. It was really tough to juggle because uh, 8 to 5, I do my stuff and after 5, I have to hit the gym and after I hit the gym, I come here to train. So basically, I'm like working from 8 to like, by the time I reach home, it's about 11 to 12, and then the whole cycle repeats. And you know, when it's closer to a show day, uh, definitely, you know, it's about running events and stuff. So sometimes I still have to, you know, here and there, when the boss is not looking, I try to do some marketing for SPW, you know, but 
Well, uh, luckily, you know, at that point of time, uh, the boss that I was working for, you know, they're pretty understanding. They're pretty understanding. But you know, I, 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 I you know, I, I felt that it's pretty selfish of me because you know, I, if I want to do something, if I want to work for a company, I would definitely give my all. But right now, you know, my heart is is half hearted and my heart is definitely with SPW. So in that one year, I decided to you know just just leave and you know just pursue SPW. It's good. It's good. I feel I'm a happier man right now. Yeah. Try entering the ring and entertain at least 250 crowd. It's gonna be hard. It's easy to be said. Honestly, it's easy to be said. But to have entertainment kind of crowd is totally different than theater, than movies, than even school play. It's totally different. They're gonna score you. For me, yeah, they have. I have this famous like referee Kayu, which means wouldn't referee, I'm just stick, standing there doing nothing at all. But it's a totally different crowd. I, I asked a few friends whether they would like to join everything. But yeah, they did tell me uh, referee and everything. But if they think that being referee is easy, it's never easy. It's not about being there and have fun, entertain, do your job. No. It's about everything. Everything. If, if the wrestlers have injured themselves, I'm going to be there first. If anything will happen during the show, I'm going to improvise. So yeah, I wouldn't say that wrestling is not a, it's not a how should I say pre-planned. Yeah, maybe some of it is pre-planned, but it can be improved too as well. The Singapore fans they are actually quite exposed to the ones in like America and Japan, those towards a wider base audience. So they actually know about like female pro wrestling, they kind of look upon it in some way that they still respect the female wrestlers. Just Maybe a bit different, but so far in Singapore, they've been showing like uh, when I'm going to the matches, they've been showing quite a lot of support. So that's great. Hey SPW fans, outside the ring as the co-founder of Singapore Pro Wrestling and the operations director of Pro Wrestling, from the bottom of my heart, I just want to thank you all for being so supportive of SPW in, all, in these three years and it's because of you guys we can get at this stage and we need you to help us make SPW a mainstream sport so thank you all for the bottom of my heart It's really surprising to have a huge fan base actually at SPW and thank you so much for support uh, do come up for our next show, do follow us on Facebook you can log in to uh, you can just go to our SPW webpage, it's uh, spw.com.sg and we have a new shows coming out every day, we can just show you in there. Uh, yeah, it was, thank you so much, that's all I can say, man. I'm really grateful for all the support and all the attention we've actually received because SPW has just been established not long ago. We are still quite unknown in Singapore among the wrestling group. So it's actually really great that we managed to kind of sell out our shows previously, all the shows that we have held in the CC. It's really great and really thankful for all the support because, yeah, I'm just like someone who actually wanted to do something that I was hoping to maybe try out for and to get such attention after all that, it's really great.